welcome back to my videos. I am sitting on my floor right now in our extra bedroom and behind me is a huge stack of clothes. I'm going to New York, which I've talked about in so many videos and we leave tomorrow at 3 a.m. It is 5.45 right now. I am, it's my dog. I am not packed. I don't know what we're gonna do. I have my outfits planned, but I'm not packed. If you get what I mean. Today and really this whole week has been so fucking <laughs> has been so stressful and I haven't had time. I had finals this week and then I was doing a lot of errands for my mom. Today I, I've been busy all day my last final. Then I got a massage and then I had therapy. I don't know if I want to put that out in the universe. Yes, I go to therapy. I feel like normalized therapy. I've been going on and off since I was like nine years old. I had therapy today. Very interesting session also. I was talking about my massage and how I felt sleep during it and then 10 minutes later I was crying okay back to New York well kind of speak on New York this week I got a facial my skin was terrible so I needed to get one so my camera died so now I'm on my phone but I got my nails done they're so pretty the little bows and then I got a massage today which I really needed and I don't know if this is TMI but apparently because I was so stressed I got a lump like a huge lump on my leg that looks like a cyst from stress thank god it's gone now the masseuse got it out so i really needed that and apparently my whole body was very swollen from stress so i needed that massage today but that's all i did this week so i say i'm busy but i did a lot of like fun self-care stuff to prepare for new york and i need to pack now this might sound counterintuitive but i'm gonna shower first before i pack because i know if i don't shower now i will not shower in two hours when i finish packing because i'm gonna be too tired but I've been washing my hair in over a week and I didn't even wash my hair then I went to a hair salon Well, not over a week last Saturday and it's Thursday now I've not washed my hair and I know I need to wash before I go to New York because I don't want to wash in New York So I need to go wash my hair then blow dry it and straighten it I don't want to do it, but I know I need to do it. So let's go shower so then I can pack for New York. I'm back and with a face mask. So I need to pack so bad. Like it's 645. I'll show you my suitcase. The current state. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do. We're thinking of using one carry-on and check one luggage because we're flying American and we get one for free. <sighs> Should we do that? Should we they want to do that, but before I pack, I'm going to show you all my outfits or more like all the clothes and tell you how I'm going to wear them. First, this is a North Face jacket. I got this a couple years ago. It's North Face. I'm planning to wear this. It's going to rain, so probably on the rainy days with like brown leather pants. Maybe not the rain though. Or just like cute stuff. You know, have you seen like the Kendall Jenner wearing this? I'll insert a photo here. Like something like that. Maybe. Cute. I think she actually wore that in New York. Maybe not. Another puffer. This is actually actually my Ritzia haul. It's a huge black one. It's a super puff. Same as the other one. A white. Oh my god, I think it's literally inside out. Well, that's good. I'm not going through this. Just a cute white shirt. Just a cute white shirt to just have as a minimalist base for everything else. It's gonna be cold. So I don't really know how much of the shirt I'm gonna see, but like just base. A cute cashmere sweater. Thinking I'm gonna wear this with the brown puffer. Just workout aloe leggings. Another plain blue top. Some cute cute black pants, my black leather jacket, skims, sculpting bodysuit, just under anything, maybe as a top, maybe just as another layer because it's going to be so cold, a corset type thing from Aritzia, so cute for like dinner or something, I don't know how to feel about this, I'm not going to pack this, no, but it is cute, just not for New York. I'm only there for three days, so I'm packing six outfits, three days, three nights. That might be overdoing it, but I don't care. Just a long sleeve, black top, another layering. Some cute tights, I don't know. Been into tights recently. Another gray, cute little shirt, big sweater. I think I'm gonna wear this with a black skirt and I'll show you those now. One, this is a leather skirt. That was just workout leggings. A cute black leather skirt. And I also have like a slip-on black skirt. Cute. I think this is too much, really. I want options. Like, I don't need to bring both skirts, but I need to have options there. I did plan out all my pants, though. Levi jeans. Brown. Look at how pretty this brown is. So cute. Brown leather pants. And then everything else is just underwear, bras, pajamas. And then I'm only going to bring two pairs of shoes, and I'm going to wear one on the plane. So I'll show you the ones I'm packing. <laughs> Christmas lights are 
I feel like doing anything but packing right now. So we're gonna play the fun game, what's in Iris's bag? Like those YouTube videos of celebrities doing it, but travel edition. Backing question is a Samantha Brown travel one. It goes and matches my carry-on, but I'm not questioning if I'm even bringing that carry-on and I might be bringing a huge checked one. But for now, this is what I need to start. This is gonna go in my bag because I want it accessible at all times. So much stuff. First, I wanna put some teas in my other one, but one of each. I'm gonna put a roasted dandelion root tea for digestion after the plane because that messed up. Chamomile tea, elderberry lemon balm immune and stress tea with ashwagandha and adaptogens, always need, and lemon and ginger tea. Then going on with more drinks, Chamberlain coffee steep coffee bags because I need caffeine in the morning. Our driver's picking us up at 3 a.m. I'm not gonna drink coffee at 3 a.m., but I will need this on the plane. Now, more liquid drinks. Also, these are not all gonna be in my carry-on. They are right now, but I should probably take them out. My seed pre and probiotics. Take these every single day. Helps with digestion and gut and everything, which I'm trying to heal right now. 100% recommend, love them, been taking them for over a year. Two different types of electrolytes. We have liquid IV, which I usually always use, and I'm trying the Cure, which is new, I saw it at Sprouts. As you guys know, I've been taking electrolytes every single day of December, and I am keeping that up, especially when I'm traveling. We need to do that. And I wanna try a new one out. It's watermelon flavor, I love watermelon, so. Jerky, if I get hungry, I get hangry. Well, if I get hungry, I get angry. I need food. I have a couple of these just to have on the trip. I got an advance from Trader Joe's. This is one I'm gonna have in my bag because I don't wanna get angry. And then lots and lots of supplements. So I for I got one for every single day. Super Greens from Symbiotica, which is actually new. I've never tried them. It has chlorophyll, which would be really good when you travel. So I'm gonna try these every single day. Magnesium. I've used your magnesium in the past. I haven't been using it, but because I'm traveling, I want to use theirs because it's so easy to take on vacation rather than a powder one that I usually use. And then liquid liposomal glutathione, which is a master antioxidant, and I'm gonna be eating a lot more food. A lot of different food, a lot more sugary food and processed food. I'm on vacation to have fun, but I want to be able to combat some things that might happen to my skin, to my gut, everything. I don't agree with a lot of those foods where I don't eat it a lot, but I want to have fun first, especially on vacation. Activated charcoal. I love this. It supports daily detox. I love taking this when I know I'm going to feel sick. Really helps with it. I'm not sure I'm going to take all of them, but I'd rather be prepared than unprepared and be screwed then in this little container i have a i have a raised bloat supplements especially for you know a lot of carby and sugary food that i don't process good i want to be able to digest it properly just a little digestive help i probably sound crazy but i'm so scared of being in a situation where i don't feel okay and i want to prepare for every instance i am the mom of the friend group if I had a burger, wipes. Biggest germaphobe here. Me and my mom wipe down our seats before we even sit down. I do not care if the plain people did. I need to wipe it down again. Everything I wipe down, I wipe off my hands. I wipe off the handles on everything. I, I can't go anywhere without these. These are always in my bag. Obviously, I'm going to take them on vacation. This connector because I'm gonna be doing some editing on the plane. I'm actually gonna be editing this on the plane. Here's a clip of me editing on the plane. So I need this to adapt and put my SIM card in. My beautiful crystals. I keep it in this little bag so it's easy to transport. Here's some rose quartz. I have a lot of different ones in here. Good luck. I especially need that on a plane. I, I feel like I sound so crazy explaining this and saying it out loud. Disposable toilet seat covers. No one talks about this. Some airports in some places, especially Colorado when I go, don't have toilet seat covers. So you have to squat and it's horrible. So when I go places, that are unknown i always bring my own i'm crazy but i am prepared my reading glasses because i am a grandma and i can't read up close they also double as blue light glasses when i'm gonna be on the plane editing i really want these also at night while i'm in new york want some blue light glasses my sunglass case and my sunglasses i should probably put these in 
so I'm prepared for tomorrow because I'm not going to wear them until I'm in New York because it's literally not going to even... The sun's not even going to rise by the time I'm in the air. Gravel deodorant. Oh, it smells so good. What's the scent? Sugar cookie. It's by Native. I only use organic or like clean, non-toxic deodorants. I think they work. I'm sorry if they don't, but I refuse to put aluminum in my armpits. And I don't want to bring a huge one, so I just bring this little one on vacation and it always lasts me if it's not too. Chapstick. I have the chappest lips. Is that a word? Chappest? Most chapped. Most chapped lips in the world. I need this on hand at every single moment of the day. Hand cream. It's Balmain Paris. I where I got this from. It smells so good. Travel NARS concealer. I rave about this. Uh, I have the full size in my real bag, but I just need the travel size for any touch up at the airport or when I'm on the go, I keep this in my purse. Travel Pillow Talk lipstick. Again, I keep this in my purse regularly. It's just there and I'm going to put it in my travel bag just in case I need it. My wallet. I'm going to try to find a smaller wallet. Maybe my mom has one because this is fucking huge. I don't need this many cards. So I'm going to have a wallet. Don't know if it's going to be this wallet or not, but that is my day-to-day -day wallet. My charging plugs and my charging station thing that i'm gonna use the hotel but these i'm gonna use on the plane this is for my computer and my phone always be prepared and on chargers my portable charger everyone needs a portable charger this is on my gift list video i take this everywhere because my phone always dies in the worst places especially on vacation again with the hangry thing some almonds we're getting breakfast on the plane but i'm still so scared that it's gonna be like sorry ma'am it's another hour i'm gonna be like i need food now and i need options and i need food i act like i'm going to the middle of nowhere i'm literally going to lax to jfk i think i think i'm a little over prepared tripod for vlogging duh and my this is a disc it's an external hard drive just in case i need to put some on here while i'm editing last but not least makeup by mario moisture glow plumping lip serum in shade bronze glow i love this again gotta look hot what if i meet the love of my life at the airport what if i meet my new archibald okay i need to put this all back oh what else am i gonna is there stuff in my this is my real purse i've been carrying today is there stuff i need to put in oh yes anastasia beverly hills lip gloss need that but i might just put that in the other bag oh my god Charlotte Tilbury red lipstick from the other night at a party. I need to bring this to New York. It'll totally match my outfits. I don't need my keys. Ooh, I should probably carry this. This is uh, Apple tag or tag, whatever. Ooh, I should probably I should probably put that if we check a, um if we check a luggage. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, well that's everything in my travel bag. I'm gonna put that back in and then. Probably I guess start packing because it's 7.15. caved we're using a uh, checking luggage i caved we're gonna check the luggage uh i'm really scared that tomorrow at jfk is gonna be fucking hell but they say that we get priority so we're flying business but it says we get priority i really hope we do um if we don't then it's gonna be hell trying to get our luggage pray for me Kind of like, oh, there's a lot of space on the shoe side, but the clothes side is filled. So I do think I need to do this. I was like packing, I'm like, I have so much extra space, but it is full. And then I have to put some, like my makeup, my skincare and those extra stuff in there. Then probably my mom's shoes and stuff like that. So I think this is the best option, even though it's probably gonna cost so much chaos tomorrow weighing the pros and cons. A couple things I didn't show. There's a couple things I didn't show, so I'm gonna show you right now. One is my ice roller. I never leave the house without it. It's from the Skinny Confidential, and when it's cold, you just, and it sculpts your face. I don't know if my face is getting sculpted or I am just having fun in the morning, whatever. Those are the shoes I was gonna wear on the plane, but now that I'm Checking my luggage. I am not gonna wear my bulkiest shoes on the plane anymore. I am gonna wear comfy Uggs. Let's go find them. Ooh. I don't care if they're not the trendy ones. I love these and they're black and they go with my outfit, so. Ooh, so pretty. I also packed a black dress and here's supposed to be wearing it. I wore it last week. I'm an outfit repeater. Sue me. 
Also, this bag. I'm debating if I pack it or if this would be my carry-on because this is gonna be my carry-on bag now. They're basically the same size, so it's like, should I just bring this? Oh, it's 7.45, I'm tired. It's been 50. I'm doing good at 2 a.m. tomorrow. Let's continue packing. but I'm washing my face and it feels so soft and the only thing I've changed up literally the last day to make this soft is I got Dermalogica Active Bright Age Bright Clearing Serum it's an active clearing serum um my skin feels like a baby's ass I don't know recommend this I accidentally bought the retinoid and I used it for one day and I broke out really bad and then I returned it got this last night I didn't film it because it was chaotic but my gosh my skin feels amazing Thank God, especially for New York. Oh, God, I'm in the biggest rush right now. I meant to wake up at like 3 a.m., but I woke up at like 3.20. Not that late, but like, you know, it makes a significant difference. I'm not gonna show my skincare if you want to know my skincare. Just, I don't know, comment and I can show you my skincare, especially because it's clearing up a lot after I talk to a facialist about some good products to use. One tip is that always wear sunscreen on a plane because of the altitude. It's like being in a, I think it was like a, like being in a tanning, like a self tanning for like 15 minutes, or 15 minutes of it is like being, sorry, 15 minutes in a plane is like being in a tanning in bed for two hours. So wear your sunscreen. Use this one, so I'll show you that. Always wear sunscreen, even if you're gonna go to sleep, and even if you're inside all day, because it's also very good for dirt. I have a little light at 2 a.m., so put some summer Fridays on. Okay, I don't look like a pale ghost anymore. Leaving in 20 minutes. Ah, let's get dressed. 15 minutes later, we're ready to go. I'll do an outfit check later, but this is from Aritzia. This is from Brandy. Wearing Uggs.